The element of light is crucial in the creation of value and tone in art. However, it's not the only place it's important. Here in the theater, we use lights and lighting to help us tell our stories on stage. Say hello to Ralph, our lighting head dummy for the lighting lab at St. Olaf College. Now before we begin, let's review what value actually is. Value means the amount of lightness or darkness given in an area, with high values describing lighter areas and low values describing darker. In lighting, we use value a lot. There are two kinds of value. There's flat value and transitional value. Flat value isn't all that common in the theater. It mostly depends on what the set or the background looks like. Transitional value, however, is our bread and butter. The human face, along with many other objects, is made up of a variety of different shapes. Our goal, depending on the show, is to have the highest values on the face so the audience can see them. But the entire face has transitional value. Look at Ralph here. Not a single section on his face is completely valueless. They all blend together, with the focus being on the back of the head. So why is this important? Using the value in art and theater, we give things a three-dimensional look. Artists use this technique on paper to give it to the viewer the feeling that it's real. Light technicians do the same thing. While our subject is actually three-dimensional, we have to be extremely careful not to make them look flat like this. Or this. In essence, lighting technicians are trying to avoid what artists are trying to achieve. They're opposites, but they both depend on value to do their jobs correctly. So it's clear that knowing about value is a good idea when approaching a project involving life in some way, shape, or form. A simple change of direction in the lighting can change the entire look of a person or a drawing subject. So here are some tips about working with lighting in art. Number one, determine where the light is hitting. The outline of the shape will still be there but it will definitely have the highest value. 2. Remember the shape of your objects. Light travels in straight lines, so some things are bound to get in the way. So remember, the sharper the shape, the sharper the shadows. The smoother the shape, the smoother the shadows. And number 3. Take your time. Rome wasn't made in a day. If you rush, you may later notice that you made a rounded ball look completely flat. Remember to think, does this have the right value in the right places? Other than that, you're on your own. Best of luck, and thanks for listening about shading and value.